Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Chat on. Alright, so, last time we made ourselves a wonderful new fuel industry, this time we need to start exploiting it to the utmost, to the very, very fullest. And to do that, we are going to need a carpenter. Yes, I suspect that today is going to be a little bit of a, uh, a less... A less advancement episode now. This is, um, we're kind of in recovery mode a little bit because we have completed all of the time crunch things. Now it's time to start doing a, a few household chores that have been neglected in the dead sprint to solve all the crises. So, uh, I don't have, ah, uh, this is on export, isn't it? So remind me, what is, uh, casing... What goes into that? Yeah, it's just bronze ingots and bronze blocks. Okay. Well, we can make sure that bronze blocks have a slot. Bronze ingots have a slot. And we need to make sure that these heavy engineering blocks are also getting constructed. So for that, I think I'm actually going to steal these copper gears and I'm just going to turn them into some more... Into some more um, bronze... We might as well. Yeah, that's going to start stamping. Do I have any tin gears in storage still? I do. So, with 64 copper gears, it would have to be 63, actually. That should translate to 21 tin gears in order to get a nice even ratio of bronze, right? I think so. We can also just dump this in the bin, and that should produce a little bit of heavy engineering blocks. And I don't need to produce all that much. I need to produce just enough to make me our first little casing. Ah, which, there it is. There it be. Okay. But yes, I do definitely want some more bronze being produced, so let's get that in the system. Ah, yes, unfortunate. Bit of wasted blood. So it goes. The tragedy. Oh, it's wasted because not all these things poured out for whatever reason. I bet that one of the... One of the casting lines was disconnected and I didn't notice, as I am wont. Alright, let's get this bronze mixed and let's get some more bronze poured. Yes, we'll just have to leave that and let that mix. It is 3 to 1, not 2 to 1, right? I think so. We'll see. In the meantime, carpenter. Yes, we are going to need another carpenter. So that means we're going to need 4 heavy engineering, 4 pistons, and 2... Hello, Blood Devon. Lovely to see you here. We are just, um... We are just currently working on using the side products from our new biodiesel machine here. Yes, these uh, these hemp fibers that are being thrown out, I'm getting working on using them properly. We are going to be making some automated wool. Not the most exciting product, but we've had an exciting time the last couple of days. We've been living in the... Uh, we've been living in interesting times in the Chinese sense, so... Having a little bit of a more relaxed day is a, is, is a nice break. At least I think so. So we're going to need four of these. Going to need four of these. Going to need two of these. Hmm. Why is that? Oh, this system is still not working properly. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it works properly as long as I'm, as long as I'm watching it. But the moment I look away from it, it starts mis. No. Okay, so where's the disconnect happening? Is it just not signaling every time? It should be. Yeah, every time a copper is going through, it's signaling the iron. And every time that signal is going through, it's pulsing the iron. So why is more copper coming through than iron plates are coming through? 
I don't know. I'm probably going to have to rebuild this system at one point. There's a bug in it somewhere. Hmm. Regardless, that's working for now. We'll check back how badly it's doing later. Um, but yes, yes, yes. Carpenter. Don't get off task. Right. And I could get off task because I'm just waiting on this bronze to mix. Which is looking like it's got a decent amount. Oh, that statement comes... Uh, is uh, native to the Greeks too? I didn't know that actually. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should just make a redstone pulser for this thing. I could put that under the base now with redstone cable. It would ensure that this works completely properly. Regardless. Let us now go over here and produce ah, glass. Thankfully we have some in storage. And now carpenter. Cool. All right. So from there, we are going to need uh, lots of golden pipe. We are probably going to need lots of lots of golden pipe because this is going to be a project. Let's just grab all the golden pipe we have in storage. I think I'm going to use white pipe wire for it too. Yeah, probably. Uh, but we are going to need a clay pipe. And do I have a void pipe in storage? I do. Okay, so. What we're going to do is I'm just going to lay down a carpenter just like, I don't know, right... Right... Uh, no, it needs to be on a hopper. It needs to be on a hopper, I think, in order to offload properly. And we might as well have it... No, it'll just be on a hopper. It doesn't need a chest for intermediary. We are going to need a silo, though. I forgot that I would need to build a silo as well, yeah. Okay, so if I build it here, then power would be would have to be like through there. Yeah, yeah. So should I be building it on the other side? I guess so. Can I fit a silo in there? I can. No, I can't because that power cable will be knocked out. So it has to be on this side. So I guess that I just need to get some distance here. Yeah, build it like right here. Because then I can run the power cable down under this. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, so I just need to plug here. Plug here. And then I can run golden pipe. We'll run it uh, back to front because it'll start loading the moment that... Uh, yeah, it's good we did anyway because we need to plug here. And then plug here. Oh, and we need that clay pipe on here. Forgive me. That clay void pipe, I should say. Yes, just a void pipe right down here. Just a plug for the sake of aesthetics. And then we take the void pipe off this end. And that should be filling up until it can't fill up no more, and then it will start voiding. So, I need to... Yes, I know. The cold. The cold... The damnable cold. Turn it daytime, it'll help with the cold. Get out of the rain, it'll help with the cold. Need to get my drink on anyway. I need to find a more permanent solution. Oh. My Faraday suit's about to break. Hmm. I should replace that. I will promptly forget that I realized that problem, and I will probably get shocked to death at one point. Oh well. So, actually, how's that doing? That's doing okay. So, so, so. This is filling up. It's going to need water. I forgot that I'm going to need a fluid pump. So, let us go and pick that up. We're just going to need a mechanical component. <laughs> oh, it, it finally happened on stream, Blood Devon. I was struggling with hypothermia. I took the armor off. I took the, the Faraday suit off, and um, I decided I can keep on working. I shouldn't have kept on working. 
and you weren't there. I, I mean, the VOD will be up in like a couple of days. But, yes, you weren't there to see it happen. To see it happen live. The tragedy. Okay, and let's just... Let's just get some regular old fluid pipe for that. Okay. Yes, hypothermia causes deaths in more ways than just, uh, than you would think. Well, it's, it's fine. That just means you have a lot of content to enjoy, doesn't it? So... We're going to run the fluid pipe up this end, I suppose. And, well, I, I guess that we could run power up the other. It, it doesn't matter. So we're going to need to put, like, a relay there. We're going to need to put a connector there. Probably going to need at least one more relay. So there is power. Uh, when did it happen? When did it happen? It happened when I was working on the automated artisan, I think. Oh, where's the damn thing? It's over there. Okay, cool. So, just run that right on down. And I guess that... No, I don't want to run it off that one. I don't want to run it off that one because uh, that one is supplying our farms and we want that to be a separate system. These things cost practically no energy to run, so it's fine. So, we'll just pipe down to there. I will remember that I'm going to need my hammer. Give it shift and two taps to make the other side an output. Give it redstone. And then remember that I'm also going to need another power nipple. Just to give that a nice little crown. And uh, I can probably just run that right on over from there. And that should be supplying the system with water. But yes, we are going to need to just then uh, put this down here. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that's solvable. That is very solvable. Over there and over there. And there's our shitty pass-through up to the carpenter. And that should be providing the system with all the power it needs. If we just come on over and look at it. Yep, we are producing wool. Excellent. So now I need to go and I need to produce myself a silo. So just chunk everything away. Let's keep the hammer on us. I don't know. I don't know why anything needs so many emojis. You know, I, I just essentially use smiley face, snarky face, you know, tongue out, and, uh, and like a couple of others. But no, there's millions of them, and, and some people use them basically as hieroglyphs for entire languages. I don't understand it. It, it scares me. This strange new world that we live in. Yeah, the Easter Island head is is kind of nice, I suppose. All right, so that's just going to need... It's already even programmed. Nice. So it just needs N bucket of creosote. And then, do I have any more sheet metal stored up? I got a little, but that's probably not enough. Ah, shoot. Looks like I overdid the tin. Hmm. Oh, no, it, it just, it started eating into the copper. That's the problem. There's your problem. Well, we're going to have to clear these tables a couple of times. It's okay. It happens. 
I started pouring a bit too soon. Regardless. So let's just get rid of that. And let's steal a couple of plates from the plates machine. Yes, wingdings. Modern wingdings. Fun. Fun with a capital F-U, as I usually like to put it. Yes. Uh, I think I need two more to get an even amount of sheet metal. There we go. And uh, remind me, book, it is 50 sheet metal that I need, right? To make an silo. Yeah, it's exactly 50. Cool. All right. So we'll just carry that with us. Hello, Duck Choice. Welcome back to the stream. Lovely to see you back. Isn't this a beautiful mess that we've created? This is wonderful. I'm just uh, I'm just finishing up the final touches on the system by uh, we are you turning one of the byproducts of it into wool, and unfortunately, this is likely to be a little bit of a uh, a kind of a choresy day of uh, doing some side projects because I'm going to be taking this wool and I'm going to be running it into every single one of my pollution filters throughout the base. And that is going to be just a very boring mega project, I'm afraid. But if you're willing to keep me company through it, you are welcome to stay. And... Just up the tower we go. Give it a whack. Oh yeah, it's also gonna need, this is also gonna need a clay void pipe. Just because I'm not gonna put any control on this thing. I'm just gonna be letting it roam free and wild. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, my, my personal project that I'm putting off is, uh, is of course, let's read Syrup Leaf. I am slogging through, um, through Jasimus Prime's year, trying to get it all done. It is huge. I'm probably going to have to do it in like four or five parts. Just editing the audio took a long damn time. The video, I don't stand a chance of getting like the entire video. I don't even have it all read yet. I just have, um, I just have the first two hours of it. And I think that got us like maybe two thirds of the way through it. Yeah. It's a project. All right. So. Yep. Yep. So, 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 so. Our first is we want to make a priority line coming over to these to these, um, to the filters on our, uh, shoot. Okay, it looks like, it looks like for whatever reason, running this on pulser, even with two pulsers, instead of running it on, um, running it on words, running it on, um, redstone engine is creating a problem for us. So let's turn this off for a moment. And let's go and build us another filter on that. Um, let's see, can I steal some out of here before it... Yeah, cool. Sweet. Yeah, we need to make another filter and just make a double stack on that one, I think. Because, for whatever reason, it just ain't working out. So we're going to need to, what am I carrying this so heavy? Nothing. We just need to make some bar. Come on. Yeah. I mean, did you watch the Let's Read Live, Devin? Uh, 
are are you are you a fan of the uh the sir the the dwarf fortress reads or are you just here for the minecraft well i mean uh i don't use a capture card i just use obs unless you're talking about you want to make uh videos of console gaming But, uh, yeah, these days OBS is working okay. What? Why? Why? Where? And why? Oh, forgot to put a light on top of that silo. That's fair. That is fair. Let's run away and despawn them all. Well then, I wish you all the luck. I have never played with a capture card. Heck, I've never played on a Switch. So, I can't really offer you any advice on how to do that. But, um, I will tell you that in any sort of recording where you're doing live commentary, the trick is to just kind of relax. Don't try and do a fancy announcer voice. Don't try and do, like, a personality or anything. Just kind of relax, converse, and be yourself. If you think you have nothing to say, just kind of narrate exactly what you're doing out loud. Like say, okay, now we're now we're putting this pipeline down. We're just going to run it through. We're going to keep on running it down. Start rambling. Start getting words out. And you'll start finding the words to say as you get yourself going. It's kind of an inertia thing, if that makes it any sort of sense. So, yes, I need to, uh, we need to get some building blocks and some torches. And we need to get that silo lit up. And I should probably turn on F7 mode just to be snooping around my base a little bit and see if, ah, yes, I forgot those ones up there too. I forgot my little floating power squid hubs. So where's a free space that I can pillar up on those? Also, the damn rain. The damn hypothermia. Oh, what a miserable world. All right. And with that... We can eat some delicious life-giving tripes, which I don't have on me. Should always have wonderful tripe in my pocket. It fits my personality so well. And let's just huddle out of the rain for a minute or two and warm up. I should just carry some uh, tinder around with me. Oh? What type of gun? And are you... Are, are Like, as of late, like it's a long-term project. Is it like, are you doing a restoration? Or is it just... Is it just that you have uh, discovered a new obsession in cleaning this gun? Over and over again. Because, I mean, un unless it's in really bad shape, it shouldn't take too long to clean a gun, should it? Get in there, tools. All right. Ah, yes. The good old lazy task. I can't clean the dishes. I need to get this gun clean. Uh, no, you, you can take the trash out. I'm busy cleaning this gun. Uh, no, 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 this gun is, uh, it really needs some work. It needs some love. You, you go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. It's one of those, right? Okay, so, instead of having our chest on top in order to serve as a block for pollution that is getting through anyway, we have to switch it over to the side. 
That is probably easier for automation purposes anyway. Ah, good. It accidentally got a little wool in there. And, of course, that means we have to put a torch on top of there, if we can. There we go. And then we need yet another layer. As in actually cleaned it and not uh, quote-unquote cleaned it. There we go. And then... We can just put another hooper right there. Give it another torch. And there we go. Cool. Now we just need to put the usual automation on this thing. Just one of these, one of those, and a one of that. And I think I'll just run it the exact same direction as the current line. Hmm. Looks like acid rain. Neat. That means some of the sulfur is getting cleaned out of the sky. Huzzah! There we go. Alright, and that should serve a sufficient shield. All right, but yes, I need to start just carrying a piece of tinder around because the damn hypothermia is just too, just too powerful on this island. There we go. All right, so. Where was I? We need to... I think I'm going to use white wire for this one so that I will always be able to, whenever I see the wool line, I will distinguish it from my usual wires that use blue wires for their signal. By uh, I'll, I'll just know that the white wire line is the wool line. And let's start unloading this wool into the silo. So... Do I want to... Yeah, let's make the primary split just right off of here. No, I should keep that just in my inventory, I think. Damn, this hypothermia. And... I'm gonna need extract. You'd think. You'd think we were. Supposedly, we're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, which to me indicates tropics, if you're saying in the middle of. But they're probably saying it in the metaphorical sense, like of in, like in the middle of nowhere. Outside of Courage the Cowardly Dog, there is no place named Nowhere America, you know. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's run that under the base. Let us run that just under the base. That'll get us out of the rain anyway. Where did it go? Ah, into my pocket. That is where did it go. So just dupe, dupe, and dupe. And then just off of there. Um, okay, so that's gonna need a pipe plug. Or even better, I can just put the uh, pipe pulser on that side. Ah, shoot, I'm going to need more pulsers. But yeah, that'll serve as a block just fine. And then I need to figure out uh, where do I actually want to send it. Shoot. Okay. Although, on the other hand, if I just go a little ways north, like maybe a couple miles north... Then we start running into ice caps and stuff, so... Yeah, maybe we are in close to the Arctic Circle. But then again, this island that we're next to is pretty temperate. Okay, so... Our first destination will be a chest like... I guess right here. 
because I'm probably going to have another diesel engine like over here. So I want it covering both of these eventually. So we'll put it like right here. Yeah, that looks that looks about right. So we'll just put like a gold pipe in there to make it easier to find. And we'll hop back under once again. Yeah, I know, I know. Courage the cowardly dog lied to us. Tragedy. Tragic. Okay, where is the dang little silo now? There we go. There we go. And where is the chest? I should have just marked that with a waypoint. Let's do that. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think the Mormons would uh, would contest that a bit too strongly in Utah. They are surprisingly prickly about state pride. Okay, so... We need to put a gate on there. We need to get our white pipe wire and start running that down as well. And we want to say that when this one... I think I'll say it contains less than 50, 25? Uh, contains less than 25. Yeah, these are going to be long pipes. We might as well have low... No, con contains 50, because we're going to... This one is going to be stocking a lot for the diesel engines. Okay. And now let's just run it down the lowest possible distance. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately for them, in my opinion. I have, uh... I have a number of friends who have had rather horrific experiences with the Mormon Church. And even though I've not had those experiences, just hearing it secondhand and seeing some of the treatment, I have, uh... I have a low trust of that institution. The individual people out of it are usually decent people. The individual Mormons are usually decent. But the church on a whole, as an institution, as an organization, yeah, that's, uh, they are, uh, they are usually, um, pretty sketch. Pretty sketch. Yeah. And by then, it's kind of a debate of... Uh, of is, the, is it even the same religion anymore? Because so much stuff has changed. Okay, so you are going to say, when white pipe signal, pulse the pipe. And that is going to get us wool moving over to that chest. And from there, do I want to run two separate pipes into these, or do I want to make some sort of, like, um... Hmm. I guess that what I could do is I could go and get some more clay pipe. Let's also... This is a good place to offload this. Oops. Yes, I need to get some more clay pipe. I need to get some more clay block. I need to get some more clay. Ah, damn. We never did complete that... That, um... Crusher system. The centrifuge for the crusher. So are one of these infected? I guess it must be these that are infected. Disinfect. All right. 
let's just go and get a little bit of clay, like a couple of stacks. For that, we are going to need to take out the good old-fashioned scuba suit. That'll also kind of uh, help us with the heat a little bit, with the with the uh, with the inclement weather. Yeah, I'm not even going to take out the excavator. Let's just dig up some clay. Yep. Hell, Michigan, even. I bet that place is plenty cold. Alright. And that'll just get us a couple of blocks of clay that we can use for this. Welp! <laughs> yep. Oh, shoot. I'm way back here. Right, because I accidentally right-clicked the bed in here. Yes, yes, yes. Get it out of your system. Okay. You know what? Let's just make a whole dang new suit. Because that one was just about dead. Game. Ah, these are... Well, two of them are good. And I don't need that much to make a suit. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what you wanted to see. You got your money shot. Ah, is, is that giving you the thrill you were after? Has this finally fulfilled your fetish, Blood Devon? Is this the blood you were after? Mine? Well, always happy to provide. Okay, that should be enough. And then it's just a matter of building a standard armor set. Just like a so. Brand new Faraday armor. May it never betray us. Dang, you got yourself a proper antique. So, is she still in firing condition or is she entirely just a showpiece? And, uh... And what type is she? Like 105 years old. Dang, that's like that's like pre-World War II even. That's like you got yourself a classic right there. I bet she's a beauty. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna keep the sword in the hot bar anymore. I askew melee combat so much. Let's just let's just see if we can askew it entirely. Keep the axe there. Yeah, the axe serves as a melee weapon anyway. Okay, so... Da, 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 da. Let's just kind of... Uh, I need to very carefully throw out the old Faraday armor without throwing out anything else. Need to put away the scuba tank. Wow. Dang. So you ever take her out to the range and uh, and uh, treat yourself to to a good old classical experience? Then again, with an antique like that, I imagine that even if she is in firing condition, you might just you know treat her as a showpiece, just to be gentle to her. Treat her with the respect she deserves. And yeah, let's put this sword away just like right here. 
we'll have a sword if we need one, but uh, for the most part, I think I'll just, I'll take the cleared space on my hotbar. Have a little bit more free spaces. Oh. Yes, one of the very few guns that uh, the use of the word clip wouldn't make you twitch. I gotcha. And unfortunately, that means, yeah, really rare ammo. Which is kind of just a, a thing all around these days, ain't it? it? Seems that they've come up to the conclusion that if they can't grab your guns, they'll just make them in too damn expensive to fire. Tragedy, I tells you. Okay, so... We are going to... I don't know why I made Void. I don't need Void. I guess it's just nice to have him. So, what we're going to do here is I'm just going to take a single extractor over here. With just any old gate. And, uh... I guess I'll differentiate these from the main line just by marking these as blue. Because they're just a line like any other. They're, they're a loading line. So, we'll run these out. Just... Over here, yeah. Like so. That's gonna need a plug. Probably gonna need two. Ah, just out of stock. Yeah, that's the other thing. Make it impossible to find. Mm. But we're gonna load a clay pipe on this one. And then up on top, up on way tippy top. We're just going to dupe and dupe and then dupe. Hmm. And just like so. So we're just going to say on that one, keep a uh, full 75 and blue pipe. So what this means is. Uh, the way that clay pipe works is it prioritizes insertion over everything else. So it will always try and insert into this hopper until it can't anymore, until it's completely full. Then it will, when it can't, it will come out and it will just go further up the pipe. And then it will be filling this hopper. And this hopper is the only one with a control on it. So... It should mean that this hopper ends up completely full, and this hopper ends up full to 75%. Just off of a single control condition. Simply by relying on pipe behaviors. Okay, and now we just need another pulser. I probably should just make a ton of pulsers. Alright, and you're going to say when blue condition, pulse the pipe. And that is our diesel engine fully stocked. Got a missing pipe up there. Okay, and we'll see. Yep. See how it now is like, nope, uh, yep, nope, yep. And there we go. All right. And then when we build a diesel engine like over here, we'll just make the same system off of this. And this uh, this chest will just keep it all stocked. Dang. Yeah, you you've got a piece of history in your hands there, man. You got to you got to treat her right, treasure her. Okay. So, now down on to the next one. I think the next closest would be this one over here. So, how do we want to do this? I guess the most convenient place. Mm. This is really densely packed. Okay, so the most convenient place would obviously be right here. 
if I put a hopper like no 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 I it doesn't need a hopper I can just run it up like through there yeah 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 okay cool so just make that a bit more obvious by right there Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we can put a chest right here. That'll allow us... I definitely do want a chest near every destination because just loading it up into the hopper with the size of how far these lines are going to be going, it would... Uh, it would... Very... It would be very prone to overloading. So we want to make just a little buffer chest near every di every destination. And I think you are just going to say 50% white pipe signal because we're probably going to be running farther lines off of you. In which case, maybe I want you one space lower down just so that it's easier to have this going under the base. One or two spaces farther down. Yeah. Like start you right there. Yeah, that looks that looks right to me. So then right there. Yeah, and then we can just run off of it. Okay, so we're going to want a gate condition on you, a little bit of white wire on you. You're going to say when less than 50% produce white signal. And we might as well make the loading system up to the uh, up to the actual filter just right now. Ah, that's right, I need pulsers. I need pulsers. So for pulsers, I need sticks. Because we need to make redstone engines. And I think I'm utterly out of sticks, aren't I? No, I have a stack of them right here. That'll make a few. That will make us a few pulsers. Ah, oh, we're out of wood. Ah, we're out of wood. Oh boy. Yeah, we're pretty much completely out of wood. And I've been putting that off because I need to make a, a new dang saw blade. Well, uh, this is a chores day. It's the day for it. So, start with a diorite. And then we're going to need flint. We're going to need bone. We are going to need iron. We're going to need gold. And we're going to need diamond. Just walk up the system. The saw dance somehow feels less aggravating than the cog dance. Probably because you only need you usually only need to do it once. Oh, these can become spawnable space. Well that's unfortunate. Can I just uh Oh, it'll it'll take a okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah, this is loaded with planks at the moment. I don't want it loaded with planks because planks is what I needs. Let's load that with some more logs. Yeah. Well, good on you for keeping her in good condition. And uh, you clean her very frequently, whether you mean it actually or whether you're, you know, just using it as a excuse to goof off. She's had a hell of a life. She deserves to live a nice, peaceful existence right now. Until and unless she becomes needed again.
All right, so, oh, lasers, right. Lasers is what I want, good. There we go, pulsers. Just a few of them. So, 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 so. So we're going to be running our output line up to our pollution filter. Right, right, right. So that's gonna need output. It's gonna need pulser. It's gonna need any old gate. And that's gonna need blue wire. Shoot. This part of the base is a little bit uh, impossible to navigate, unfortunately, because this is just very densely packed machinery. But... Okay, so we're gonna need some pipe plug over Schmer and over Schmar. Run it on up. And schlump it all in. Good. Then just any old gate. Little bit of wire. When less than 75% full, produce blue signal. Oh. Okay, neat. Hopper was running a little bit low. So this'll serve things well. And you say when blue signal, pulse the pipe. Run that signal up, and now we just need to get over to the out to the uh, to the resource line again. Oh, so you got her out of an antique store or the like? Not out of like a not out of like a family. She's she's not an heirloom. You know, I think I'll make the split right here. Yeah, we'll use the same strategy as our main bus line. So we'll start, we'll obviously produce here and here. And gate and pulser when white, oh, and white wire. When white wire pulse the pipe. And you will have gate pulser. When white signal pulse the pipe. And you will say when less than 50% full produce white signal. Start to summon more wool and run this line on down. Get it to the destination. Let's see. How do we want to run this? I think I can just kind of run a straight shot right down to here and kind of jank it around into these steps in this area a little bit. Mm. Well, still, good on you for, uh, for treating her with respect. Okay. Oops, a little bit of wasted wire, but what you gonna do? Okay, now run her on down, now that we have a better idea of where we're going. Yeah, 
And now you're seeing why I wanted an under platform instead of just relying on relying on the ocean to carry me. Seriously, why are you not connected? There we go. Because this is a lot easier to do. And there we go. So that'll summon wool down on there. And that should begin loading up into that pollution filter. All right, on to the next destination. I told you, this is kind of a mega project and it's a very boring mega project that we're doing right now. Okay, so our next destination is going to be our our pollution filter over on our personal use smeltery. And let's swap this out for a pulser just to save some space. I think this one produces pollution a lot slower than the diesel engine. Yeah, a little bit of blood on the cables. Entirely because of my own idiocy, too. I got so used to having the suit on at all times that in my arrogance I forgot. Alright, so... We probably want it to be loading like... Right... Hmm... Yeah, we can run it through there, I guess. So then there. And... Yeah. A little bit awkward, but what you gonna do? Okay, pipe plugs are already in my pocket. And then pipe wire and gate. So you are obviously going to say when less than 75% full, produce white signal. Run that just right on down there. And then under the base, we're going to have another chest as our buffer. And this looks like a relatively convenient position for starting to run it down, down the utilidors to start getting it into our other smelteries too. So this is, this is a relatively good position. Now, where is the dang thing? I should have made a waypoint. But here we are, here we are. Okay, so that's just going to take extractor pipe right there. We'll just put it right here, I suppose. N missed. Yeah, like right there is a good is a good enough place. Oh, that should have been blue. Oh well, it doesn't particularly matter. Pulsar. You are going to say when white signal pulse the pipe. And then on you, we're just going to run you on down. You know what? Hmm. No, no, let's. Yeah, let's just run it through down here easier. Cuts off a bit of our walkway, but what you gonna do? So you are going to say when less than 50% full, produce white signal. And then we need to start running you down over to connect with this thinger. -er. 
So you, going to have Pulsar, going to have White Wire, going to have Gate. And you are going to say, when White Signal, produce Power Pulse. And we're going to start running on down. So you're going to need a pipe plug right schmear. And let's see, where are we going to? This is an utter mess. It's kind of glorious. Let's see. Probably most convenient. No, because I'm going to be running it like down that way. So I need to, unfortunately, shank it around a little bit. Let's see if we just run it down this way. Yeah, we're going to have to pass under here. Okay, this is still relatively walkable. And then I can kind of swoop. And then I'll have it among the ceiling again. Yep, that's relatively decent. That's going to have to jank a little bit more, in fact. Am I out of... no. Okay, can it fit over this wire? Yes, it can. Cool. Come on, you connect. I'm on to your shenanigans, pipe wire. Well, you think you think this looks nice and neat and sane? I mean, it's not as bad as it could be. I suppose we could make this worse if I really wanted to uh wanted to uh dedicate some time and effort to it. Okay, connection. Gonna need to make some more pipe wire, aren't I? I should get on that right now. Yeah, it helps that at least, um, at least this particular pipe we're differentiating with a, with a different color of pipe wire too. So, ah, good. I have a couple of stacks of just plain bone meal in here. Pair that up with a couple of stacks of redstone. Yeah, it's not the worst mess I've ever made. For sure. But it is still kind of starting to get rather spectacular, isn't it? Okay, white pipe wire. Make me tons, please. That should produce, what, 16 stacks? Let's see here. Yeah, eight per. So, eight sets of eight. Yeah, we're gonna make, we're gonna, we're gonna restock a bit here. Mm hmm But yes, this is one reason why I uh, prefer Buildcraft fluid pipes over 
these cheaper immersive engineering pipes. If all these liquid pipes were just a mess of immersive engineering pipes, they would all look identical. I wouldn't be able to tell which of these liquid pipes is which. So if I needed to split off of them, which I'm pretty soon here, I'm going to need to split off the, well, not soon, soon, like within a couple of episodes, it's going to be time to start making enhanced, uh, enhanced petroleum in order to start working our way up to the next age pretty soon. And for that, I'm going to need to split off the crude oil line and do a new processing chain. So knowing which of these pipes is which is very helpful for sure. All right, and here comes wool. Let's just follow that down its magical journey through this wonderful hops and skips and then up it goes. And that should be filling the filter up there. Cool. Excellent. Just up it goes, fill in that wonderful, wonderful stuff. So, now we're kind of up to the big one. We are going to need a bunch of pipe for this one. Because we are going to need to run pollution filters over on our iron smeltery over there and on our copper smeltery way down here. So we're going to need a bunch of pipe. Oh boy. Let's just, so, how much did we get out of that? We got a couple of stacks. That, that might be enough. That might be enough. Yeah. Uh, should I put pollution filters on these? I use these kind of rarely. Mm. Let's see here. I mean, I guess the back side of them is a place where I could put vents to combine them. They produce pollution really slow. They produce carbon pollution. They're relatively close to, to grass on one side. I think I'm just going to leave these. I'm not going to bother. Leave these alone. Yeah, let's uh, empty out the storage chest a little bit. And let's load it up with its next of the product line, because, yeah, I'm low on boards. want to get those going. Oops. Well, yeah, I mean, it, this is kind of a fantastic time we're living in to want to have a big stock of ammo, isn't it? You might want to, you might want to consider investing. Hmm. That's right, we need to move the damn pump jacks too. Well, that's next on the chores list. Let's complete the boring mega project first. What? Pollution? How? Are these not connecting to the chimney anymore? You should be. Okay, let's boop that and unfortunately lose it, but I should have another one in my bag somewhere. Put that on. 
Huh. So these are not connecting to it. They should. They really damn should. They did before, I think. Hmm. Oh. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, I, I guess that's th that's nice that you have them. <clears throat> so I guess that I need to get vents on these, don't I? Yeah, that that wasn't producing pollution before. That was all going into the into the chimney as it properly should. So why is it not now? What has changed? Hmm. Disturbing. Disturbing. I might have to experiment with that later, though. Well, yeah, that, that's the kind of the thing, if stores had it. These are more in stock now. And white wire. That's right, I wanted to pick up some white wire. That's what I was thinking that I was needing. Hmm. Just people getting rid of classic guns for whatever reason? Hmm. Oh, right. I should get this thing on the supply line, too. You know where they're coming in from? But yeah, I, I want to get my uh, pollution lines down there filled up, I guess, first. Get the uh, longer project done. Because I'm already kind of gearing up for it anyway. Alright, so down on the line we go merrily along our way. So let's kind of, uh, let's kind of get it properly inserted into the, into the utilidor. way. Then I should just need a plug here so I can jank it away another space. Plug here just to pass on by. Plug there. Now where are we coming in from again? Come from here, cool. So we're almost there for the first leg of our journey. Huh. Well, I mean. So long as they're good guns, I guess. Can never have enough good classic guns around. Hmm. Neat.
shoot. Okay. Unfortunate. Pipe plug there. Pipe wire over the top. Reconnect it. Unfortunately, the navigation hazards down here are getting to be a little bit real. Hmm. Might need to... There we go. That's fully connected. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, normally you don't think efficiency when you hear Italians, but when it comes to those really classic times around the world wars, like, they definitely had their moments, despite, uh, despite some of the political choices they made. You know, I hear that, uh, yeah. I hear that when Mussolini was in power, uh, he converted a lot of the old, a lot of the kind of side farmlands, the ones that weren't growing essential food crops, that were growing like herbs and medicinal plants and stuff like that. He converted them into a biochar industry to run some of his infrastructure. You can say what you like about Mussolini, but he sure made his trains run on time. Okay, so... Where is our split going to be? It's going to have to be there, isn't it? No, it's going to have to be here. Yeah, because that's the line going down to the copper. So... I guess we're going to make it a split here. So so what? I I get nothing for that pun. That wasn't suitably horrible. Okay, so let's do the copper line first, because that's the longer one. Yeah. Just down this and way. And we'll say pipe pulse are on here. And we'll say when white signal pulse the pipe. And we'll just run you right on down. I think I need to go one space farther in just to get it over the line. And we'll see how we need to jank it as we get on down. Oops. Yep, this is how we're going to have to run it, it's looking like. And now we just have a long ways to go. Our copper mine is forever away. But that's kind of why we want to do this, so that we don't need to run on down to it ever, you know? I guess that while I'm here... I did forget to run redstone cable down here. That's a project I could do while I'm in the zone. Oops. 
Huh. Oh, that's the excavator. Neat. Okay, down on down we go. Let's see here. We're going to need to figure out uh, where our pollution filter's at. How are these filling up? Wait, why are you stopped? You should not be stopped. Why are you disconnected? You should not be disconnected. What the hell's going on here? Hmm. Something keeps on disconnecting that cable for some reason, it's looking like. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, dear. We have a problem up here. Yeah, we have a problem for sure. I forgot to put the dang extractor on this thing. Oh boy. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, unfortunate. Well, now you have your little demo of what happens when pollution starts building up. So it looks like this is, uh, it looks like, um, we're not getting bad effects just yet, but our vision is starting to go all cloudy. If this builds up much more, then, uh, yeah, you see the grass is turning to podzol. That's every time it's raining, acid rain is coming down. And that's thankfully eating some of the sulfur. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay, so. We caught this before it became critical. So, the pollution cloud will spread out and it won't all be concentrated in one chunk anymore. But, uh, yeah, I screwed up. I screwed up. And thankfully, we caught it just in time, I think. Um, not really, no. Unfortunately. Because I have no means of gathering that pollution up there. Not for a long time. Okay, and let's actually, let's put this off to this side, make it easier to get from the ground. Yep. Because then we can just dig it down here. Yeah. Okay, so... going to have the destination chest for the big long line down there. So we need an extraction pipe there. And unfortunately, I'm out of pulsers. Shoot. Let's just put that away. But we can at least run the final bit of blue pipe. We'll say wild blue signal. I don't have pulsar. Yeah, I'm completely out of pulsar. Yeah, I mean, um, eventually we'll be able to um, stop by with like a vacuum cleaner and a jet pack. And we can suck up that that big old cloud of pollution and uh, run it into a filter and just get rid of it. And I think that sulfur cloud pollution will turn into sulfur. But, um, yeah. 
we uh, we won't be doing that for a little while. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure when the uh, full climate tech is unlocked. When pollution of the realms further technology is unlocked, but it's not going to be for a while. We're just going to say 25% on this one. Oh, and not blue. Not blue signal. This is the wool line. We use clean white signal on this pipe. All right. I mean, it's an Italian sounding name and it's an Italian gun, isn't it? So it does kind of make sense. It's just kind of people um, practicing their heritage, upkeeping their history. Oops. Oh well. We have a little bit of a little bit of art on our wire. Yeah, it's a good thing that pipe wire is dirt cheap. not broad enough. Yep, I didn't bring enough. Well, good thing that the lasers should have lots of it in store for us. Let me up. All righty then. How's this doing? It is doing pretty good. Now, priority order make me sticks. Yeah, this. Why did the lava machine's pollution filter break? Because before, it was sucking it from all of them. I'm pretty certain I saw all the smoke get sucked into the chimney when I first built this thing. Huh. Hmm. Maybe it needs a vent instead of a chimney cook up to it directly. Yeah? Dang. Yeah, that's a hell of a storied history on that gun. And we've already built up a ton of wool. This system is producing nice and fast. And hey, look at that. Look at what we discovered. Yeah, this system is... Uh, and it's only going to produce faster because we're going to need to roughly double, double our build to build another diesel engine. Uh, yeah, obviously not this one. Like, if the gun that killed JFK was even on sale, then it would probably be in the millions of dollars as a collector's item. Minimum. More likely it's one of those literally priceless because whoever has it is never going to give it up. If it even is owned by a private collector and not, like, if it wasn't destroyed or put into government evidence and disappeared. Okay, so this. There. 
Yeah, most likely. Most likely. So we'll check on that in a little bit and make sure it's not overflowing the chest just because that pipe is so damn long. But at a 25% order rate, yeah, I should have realized that there was a problem over there. Oops. <laughs> okay, I need more pulsers. So do I have any sticks yet? I've got a few. Yeah, not really enough. Enough to just make a few. At least the pistons are dirt cheap now. It's bizarre when the sticks are the most important are the most expensive part of a build, isn't it? Relatively speaking. Simply because we don't have automated wood, and we won't until next chapter. Um, da, 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 what was I doing? I need iron, right. Probably going to be time to turn the iron mine back on pretty soon here. Hopefully I can put that off until we have another diesel engine up. Hmm... So yeah, that, that is one artifact that is uh, priceless in the sense that it is not for sale. You literally cannot put a price on it. It's it's cannot be bought. Oh, we can... Uh, we should put some... Uh, cover that hole. Good enough. Hi, Fluttershy. What are you doing here? Get out of the way, please. Wow. They just decided with no legal recourse that, uh, that it should not be in private ownership. That is, uh, well, that's in character for the ATF. Like, everyone's on the CIA. Lately, the FBI is getting attention, but I think the ATF might be our most evil alphabet organization. They need to go. Okay, how's this doing? It should be filled up pretty soon here. Okay, and now I can put the pulser on you and say when blue signal pulse pipe. And I can give you a test fire just by offloading that. Ah, uh, you don't have you don't have gate condition. Well that's why we do test firing. And we can say when contain blue signal. Load her up. And there we go. All right. So, so uh, that's a, um, <clears throat> we'll just call that a problem solved and we'll ignore it. How's this doing? Huh. It's actually keeping up with, uh, with the, with the, um, with the, the smelter is keeping up with the excavator. Neat. I mean, that is an utter bullshit justification, and everyone knows it, I think, though. That is entirely government overreach, in my opinion. The hell cares about, uh, uh well, so it goes. Okay, so now we're going on down this way. Can I jump it over this? Yes, I can. Cool. It's always a bit nail-biting when you're crossing 
over a really, really uh, shallow wire like that because you're just looking to see if it's gonna if it's gonna pop off, and then you need to redo your entire power system. So, and then this one is going to say, of course, gate on ya, pulser on ya, white wire on ya, and you're gonna say when white signal pulse the pipe. And then we just need to run yawn down. And thankfully, this is going to be a much shorter trip. You know, like, I think we're already close to there. Where is the... Uh... Okay, so there's the limonite. There's the iron lines, so... Our pollution pipe is probably going to be somewhere in this area here. Yar. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so if I run it off there. This unfortunately is going to be a little bit of a jank because this is a very big and complex smeltery and it's very high up and all the other wonderful reasons. Okay. Da, 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 da. You know, let's just run it on down just to get it reachable. Yeah, that should do. And then we can just kind of jank it over and down. Okay. And then... Let's see, is there any redstone or anything on the ground over here that I need to worry about? Not looking like it. is the Utilidor. Should be somewhere down here. Let's see here. Yeah, we should be close to it because we got the excavator right there. Unfortunately, running an underground cavern near beach is always painful. Okay. Okay. So. Let's, of course, get the area lit up. just put a chest right here for the sake of uh, ease. Extractor and pip and plug. No, not there. There. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Which, again, I regard as a very patriotic act, and I wish you luck with it. I'm not being entirely ironic with that statement. Okay, so then we need a pipe pulser, pipe gate, pipe wire.
and wind blue signal pulse. Then we just need to run it up to its destination. Up on the surface. <laughs> Neat. If you've never made much money, how did you afford your gun? Is it just that you've never made enough to uh, to get their attention? Seriously, why? Why there? Okay, so there's something happening. Oh! There's the problem. We found the problem. Joyous day. I have been seeing red dots in that area from time to time and it's been bothering me. Well. Should have realized. Ah, I get ya. So long as no one is keeping no receipts, keeping no paper trail, they got no way to tell and it's no one's business but yours. Very nice, very clever. Okay, so I should just be able to... Uh, Put a couple of torches on up there. And that should solve the issue. Yeah. Everywhere is understaffed, but if you apply for a job, like you go in there in person and the poor teenager behind the counter says, just apply online. You apply online, you never get a response back. So it's like they don't seem to actually want employees, you know? And yet, yeah, I mean, no one is actually hiring. They all have help wanted signs. They all say that they're understaffed. They all are understaffed. They're all, like, having trouble keeping up with orders. They're all having trouble... Um, stuff like that. Yeah, I know. The sign is a lie. At least that's what their behavior is telling me, that their sign is a lie. What they say and what they're doing are two completely different beasts. Yeah, I mean, uh, money's kind of in dire straits over here, too. Like, I can't get enough odd jobs to get by. I'm in some job training that'll get me an externship, but between that and Syrup Leaf, I'm real high stress, got no free time right now. I don't enjoy doing e-begging. I have a subscribe star that I put the links to on the uh, Dwarf Fortress Let Freeze, the edited editions, because that's the content I put actual effort into that I would feel comfortable saying, hey, if you feel like it, pay me for this stuff. But, uh, ain't no one subscribed to it yet, and I don't blame them. Because who the hell can afford that in these times, you know? Hmm. 
Ah, hello, 12th Century Fox. We are just in the middle of a, uh, a mini mega project. We have, um... We have automated the wool production over by our by our uh, farm over here, and I am working on running it to all of the pollution filters. So we have a big long pipeline. We have it. Uh, we of course have it automatically supplying our diesel engines over here. And yeah, unfortunately. I had to double up on the filters on this thing because it was still escaping, even with two pulsers on it. So, need to double layer the filters on these things for whatever reason. But yeah, we have it coming up here. We have the pipe janking on down. All the way over to here. We have it then going on a journey through the entire spaghetti portion of the factory, getting it over to our personal smelter. Then it kind of janks itself into the utilidor. Which is getting very cramped. And we've just finished running it down to the copper line, which, uh, well, the Utilidors are getting colonized by the Normans. Yup, yup. It runs all the way down to the copper line. And now we're just running it down to the iron line. Yeah, I forgot to extract the ash out of the uh, pollution filter over on the copper smeltery. So there is a nuclear cloud of sulfur above the uh, Millionaire Village right now. It's, uh, it was bad. I did bad. I done goofed. I'll show that to you in a minute after I finish running this. So that's going to be... Oh, right. I was running it up to that pipe up there. Finishing the extraction pipe on that end. No, wait. That is finished. It's just full because it's still hooked up to the chest up there. Yep, yep. Okay, so this is going to say win less than 25%. Produce white signal. Yep. Yep, we've uh, we've made a nice little patch of puzzle right by that smeltery, I tell you what. We have definitely made a little miniature pine biome thanks to that. But thankfully, uh, we caught it just before it started producing negative effects to our health. We just have a chunk where our vision turns yellow right now. So I think I can just run this right on down here. Yep. Yes, Blood Devon and his amazing classic uh, old Italian antique gun that he's been cleaning and uh, keeping in good condition. I admit I'm a little bit jealous of it. Yeah. <laughs> so you probably just found the effects of directly breathing in pollution. Like of um of just letting it um get of of just being in the same block as a bit of pollution. All those effects 
if you let enough pollution build up in a single chunk, Fox, those effects become inescapable. You can't just walk away from it anymore. They will they will infect that entire chunk as just a zone effect. And I think they will even get collectively worse. Like eventually you get wither, wither two, poison, hunger, blindness. It's bad. Avoid the pollution buildup if you can. Okay, there we go. That's the line connected. That's wool coming in. Damn. That old of an antique gun for just like under 300 bucks? Dang, man. Okay, so let's give this a bit of a test fire. Now that we have wool coming in, let's make sure our, connect, our condition is appropriately set up. And in any case, that means that we can take these chests off. So if I just take this out. Unfortunate. Digging through sand, always a joy. There we go. And here comes up wool to be automatically supplied. Neat. Okay. And let's just load up this chest down here with all the wool that we had in the area. Just to keep the system pressurized. And there we go. All right. So that's all our most major pollution sources covered, except I realized in the middle of building this that I forgot to supply over here to this. This is a very minor pollution source. It might not be worth it. Because in all the time that this refiner has been running, it's used 14 pieces of wool. But on general principle, we should. So let's run that over here. And this is actually really close to our wool line. I might not even need to make a, uh, a buffer chest on this one. I should just be able to run this down, I think. Like so. And pipe plug there. Gate. Wire. Win less than 75%. Uh, let's call this 50% just because it's a single stack. Let's call it 25% just because it's a single stack. Win less than 25%. Produce white signal. Then under the boss. So where is that thing? Yeah, it's right over here. Yeah, we don't need to run no stinking buffer chest on this thing. We can just take it right off of there. Pulsar, gate, wire. And boop. And say win white signal, pulse the pipe. Run it on down. Look at that. Easy as you pleasey. I think the line going up to the uh to the iron smelter, the loading line on it might be longer than this. So this is absolutely no problem. Alrighty then. 
So, as of right now, I can officially sit and let the base run forever. Pollution is handled, fuel is handled, resources are handled. If I was running this on a server, I could leave it running 24-7. The base is more or less self-sustaining. The only thing that we don't have right now coming in infinitely is crude oil. And that is used only very rarely by the build craft refinery when I deplete it using the lasers, which is only a... Hmm. Which is only a very occasional process. <clears throat> okay, so... Next chore, because this is kind of a choresy day. This is just kind of doing a little bit of base maintenance that I was neglecting while I was putting out fires with all the uh, crises that were running. Uh, next chore. Let's think for a moment. What needs doing? Let's see. I need to move the pump jacks. I need to move the pump jacks. So, where's a good nearby oil well that we can suck dry once more? Bauxite vein. Did the iron vein have oil on it? No, it had molten aluminum. Molten copper, which I think I sucked dry. Uh, this is lava. Oil. No, not oil. Malian Azzy is dead. No, no, musket would be more like, um, it would be like maybe 50 to 100 years older than the Caracano, Caracano, however it's pronounced. Caracano, Italiano. Crude oil. This is a little bit of a stretch to get here. Yeah, crude oil here too. Okay. This would be relatively close to... Yeah, I think this one is one that I've already depleted, isn't it? If I pick this up. Yeah, this is... This was running off of this one. We've we've already sucked this one dry, so we need to go further down this way. Okay. Okay. Well, one more teardown of this system. And hopefully this will be the last time we ever have, we ever have to move it because we are using we are using oil so much less frequently now. We just need to have a source of it on tap. I suppose that since I've been I've been moving it between episodes, you'll finally see how my little uh, limiter device works on this thing. It's very similar to ones you've seen before. It's essentially an adaptation of my smeltery limiter, just without the um, logic controlling the solids as well. Oh yeah, wooden stocks are beautiful. Yep, the holy oil depleted uh, last episode while we were rushing to build the biodiesel. It kind of, it made that another crisis, barely averted. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we, uh, we, we screwed up a little bit with the, uh, with the copper. <clears throat> we have, uh, we have, we made a little bit of a stink. We, we did a boom boom. 
indeed. And it's, again, it's not causing any effects, but if we get close to it, we have a lemonade sky in this chunk. Yeah, and we have a little bit of podzol from when the acid rains come in. But it's only that one chunk, and when this pollution starts spreading out, it should be below critical within the surrounding chunks. So, um... So we didn't screw up irreversibly. We didn't screw up to the point that it's impossible that we can be within that area. No, that is that is one effect of um of sulfur pollution. When you have a sufficient density of sulfur pollution within an area, it will um whenever it rains it will sometimes spend a little bit of the sulfur pollution in the sky to turn the rain into acid rain. Which, if there is a uh, just a one wide and um, if there's just a single pool of water, it will turn it acidic into polluted water. If there is grass, it will turn it into podzol. And if there are crops, it will kill them. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Uh, there should be one more fence around here, shouldn't there? I always seem to lose a fence whenever I move the pump jacks. It just disappears somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. I think that's everything. Let's just go grab a drink real quick. So it goes. Alrighty then, so... Move on down to this smaller oil well, but it should sustain us for a good long time. Yep, just this one right here. So, let's get our chunks a showing. Let's get you sitting in the corner thinking about what you've done. Now, hmm. Kind of just flatten out an area for it. That should do. But let's overdo. Any yellow spots? Uh, one. Make sure that no space is spawnable ever. And let's just throw out this Garbo. Cool. All right. Move you out of the way once more. Hmm. Really? You're a fan of you're a fan of pump jacks or are you talking about something else? Normally pump jacks aren't all that exciting of a build. Alright. Linen to a bunch of fluid pipe. Dip, 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 dip. And I'm gonna need my book just to remind me how these things go. Throw it on the ground for good luck. And it 
looks like I'm missing two light and one redstone. Two light, one redstone. Neat. Okay, so how am I going to want to position these? Cow. Just go away, cow. Shoo. Um, I don't think I can position these facing up vertically. I need to face these in horizontally like I did by the church, I think. So it's going to be facing something like this. Yep. So that is light, bunch of scaffolding, a little bit of pipe. We'll make it one inwards just for good luck. Then like this, then like this. I mostly remember how to build it, I think. And then it's like this and like this. Yeah, well, not the Iron Age. Like, the, they're stuck in the late Renaissance, I think. Thereabouts. I'm not going to share my technology with the French. That's the real reason they're stuck. Because they refuse to stop being French in my presence. Okay, neat. And then we can build the other one like kind of nose to nose with it. Just like right up here. Like so. And then it goes like. And I think that would mean that the light would have to be on this side, right? With the redstone over there, the heavy over there. And then true. Yeah, just a tiny bit, I suppose, a tiny bit more tolerable. Okay, and then we can make like a tank over Nya with a pimp. Just like so. So, our Utilidor definitely needs to come down this space. Because that's where our pump is going to be ultimately extracting the oil into the pipe. Let's throw a few pipes down there just so that we see it. We need to make sure that this is set to output anyway. And then we can just redstone on there. And... Uh, when a pump jack is moving from something like a tank, or, or when a fluid pump, an IE fluid pump, is moving from something like a tank, it needs an input right there. It does not need power. It only needs power when it's sucking up from the world. Like when it is um, when it is sucking up a liquid water or lava source. So for this, it does not need power. It just needs redstone and to be configured. Still, these are definitely going to need power sooner or later. And I guess that I'll figure the 
the power from like right here. We'll run it up, do a relay, and then uh, and then yeah, and then yeah. So now we need to create the control system for this thing, just so that it doesn't pump 24 seven. And I might need more structural wire. But I have more in my pack. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a gate on this thing onto our output tank. Which I kinda, can I just get it from here? If I say, yeah, tank full on the bottom side, then emit blue. Run it down. And thankfully, these aren't like the crushers. They don't mind just receiving a redstone right out the gate. So we say, when not blue signal, or no, when blue signal, yes produce redstone because this is going to be saying when the tank is full produce uh, produce blue let's also oops let's uh where is the colliding mesh on this thing let's just put a couple of torches on this thing just because I occasionally see yellow squares. And then continue running our structural pipe on down. Yeah, definitely going to need a few more, I think. But, nope. In fact, I think I did it a little bit more efficiently than in my last build. And you are going to say, when blue signal, produce redstone. I mean, if you're sitting under the counterweight, sure. But not in this game, no. There is no danger from these machines. Not unless Austin has changed something. Okay, so now all I need to do... Yeah, let's, uh... For some reason, that's thinking it should be spawnable, so let's put its nipples on. Like so. And let's just finish emptying out the chest because all that stuff is zero weight. Put it back in our bag. Yep, yep, it happened again because I had to go uh, diving for clay and I forgot to put the suit back on. Speaking of, while we're in the, while we're in the, uh, while we're thinking of that, I should have some spare deniers, sure. Let's go keep ourselves at 10 lives. Been a while since I checked the marketplace anyway. There might be some more dye on sale. Yep, Merchant of Art. There we go. Uh... I, I took the, I took the, um, I took the Faraday suit off because I was diving for clay. So I put, you know, the diving tank on and I forgot to put the Faraday suit back on. And I just went derping right into my base, all bold like. I hit the wire at a dead sprint. So, uh, yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> With skill and grace. Yeah, I'm not sure where the damage on the Faraday suit came from over here. I don't think I've been hit by anything, have I? Since I built the new one? Huh. Bizarre. 
We'll keep an eye on that. In any case, it's time to extend the Utilidor. I think fall damage would just be um, would just be on the blue on the boots, wouldn't it? Oh no, wait! I got hit by a skeleton a couple of times. Yeah, when I finally figured out where they were spawning from, up on that little floating power relay. All right, we need to grab some new fluid pipes. Well, I should just be able to reroute the old ones, shouldn't I? Yeah, we need to take those down. So, the holy oil was coming off of over here. We'll just leave the power cables up. No reason not to, I don't think. It adds a certain je ne sais quoi to the utilidors. But we will rip up the pipe so that we don't need to build anymore. Alright, and it looks like it looks like I pretty much just need to start digging digging west here. Or at least really close to. Well, I mean, it is kind of an old building, isn't it? It's an old system. It's a defunct system. Okay, sweet. So that's the new pipe. Yeah, you can kind of see why I uh, why I didn't feel bad doing this as a between episodes chore because running Utilidor is just kind of a boring project that doesn't really cost me anything. It's not really impressive to watch. Yeah. Hmm, baby, we're gonna lay that pipe deep in that big dirty hole. Mm, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, baby. Mm. I don't know if I can lay all this pipe. I might need to get a bigger one just for you, baby. Mm, yeah. Yes, boring projects are exactly what causes talk like that. Your mind has a bit too much time to itself. Okay, right down this way. And yeah, I'm probably going to need to go and pick up some more pipe. Hmm. No, Elon Musk already made that joke. I can't make it too. Unfortunately. Elon Musk and his boring company. Supposedly they do really good work. They don't get a lot of attention like Tesla does. But supposedly some of their projects are really amazingly helpful. Wow, exactly enough? <laughs> Dang. Okay. Next, we need to run the power over, which it looks like, unfortunately, it doesn't really fit in with the Utilidor line, but we'll just kind of jank it over. It's fine. OK, 
Okay, so that is the line, right? Right. Cool. So we'll just put the power nipple right on there. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like if you're ever skydiving and your parachute fails, you really shouldn't worry. You've got the entire rest of your life to figure out how to fix it. Yep. So open-minded, your brain is leaking out your ears or out the front of your forehead, as in the case may be. Yeah, I think I'm just going to completely lazy ass this. Mm hmm. I should probably dig an access tunnel, but. Meh. This is hopefully one that we're never going to have to come back here again. And the fact that I'm saying that now ensures that we're probably going to have to come back here again. Come on, get in my hand. Make sure that there is no spawnable space in the Utilidor. I saw it. I saw it. And... Power nipple. Connect. Huzzah! Now we just need a few building blocks and we need to remember to put a torch on top of this once it's up. And yeah, that one more, I think one more, and that should be sufficient. Torch. Up it goes. And across. And look at that. It immediately just starts up. They are clipped into each other. Beautiful. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Just another torch on this end, just in case. There we go. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it, it's like it's it's one of those Tesla planes. It's running. It, it's producing thrust for the ionization of air. Yeah, that's that's totally what it's doing. <clears throat> Don't question Minecraft physics. You'll just get a headache and heartbreak. I think the Normans. Uh, the millionaire Normans even have dialogue about that. Like one of them says, the other day I found a, a floating pile of dirt. Why does dirt float in this world? And the other one says, because God wills it. That's more of a, that's a horrible accent. You don't need to feel so bad about your accent, Fox. Your accent, your French accent just sounds like, like you're, uh, like you're in Dexter's laboratory. It's it's kind of funny like that. Okay, so as you can see, it is going into that tank, but it is not filling it up yet because we still have crude oil like missing in our tanks over there and stuff like that. 
But once the system pressurizes, it'll fill up and then it will turn on the signal in here. So I'll just, uh, I'll temporarily say um, something like when yes. And see, that immediately shuts it off. So when tank full, Yeah. I mean, in general, English is kind of... It, it makes other languages harder, I think, simply because English steals from so many of them. And yet is its own thing still. I mean, I guess that it might make German a bit easier because it's a very Germanic language from its core. Um, it, it was a good show until it changed management. When Gendy Tarkovsky was still running it, it was a very excellent show. It was okay once he left. Okay to, uh, to subpar, at least in my opinion. Okay, but yes, as you can see, our distillery is running again. These tanks are filling up. Once these are full, the distillery will shut up. The system will be fully pressurized. And we will be good. So, any other chores I want to do tonight? Um, um, you know? You know what? It's finally time. We're going to run the blood pipeline. Yay! Blood! Let's run the blood pipeline. Huzzah. So one of these is infected. And it was you. Thank goodness. So let's just grab all the fluid pipe. We've. I think I'm going to run this one just as fluid pipe. Just because fluid pipe is so much cheaper. And this is a pipe I don't really need to worry about. It's going to be mostly in the utilidor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are going to appease the blood god and the wubs. Beautiful day. Wonderful day. So we're going to need a fluid pipe. A fluid pump, I should say. So we're going to need that. We're going to need those. We have exactly enough in there. How lovely. And fluid pump. Yep, yep. You, you did indeed, and I still approve of that joke. And more importantly, we're going to need a destination for it. So we're going to need a liquid tank over on this end. So uh, I don't have enough ash in here. Do I have any additional ash? Any at all? Anywhere? Shoot. Okay, we need to make some more forestry ash. I suppose that's also a chore that needs doing, doesn't it? So... So, so, so. One more run down to the blood bank. Oh, uh, yeah, this didn't empty out for whatever reason. I don't know. Who was it from? Telemarketer? Family emergency? I hope. I hope not emergency. Oh, about your car's extended warranty? Or actual legit? Ah, yes. <laughs> One of those. Okay, so once more down to the blood bank just so that we can make of the ash. Uh, it can be. It can be. So long as you... So long as you report them every single time, eventually they'll leave you alone for a little while. 
But, um, yeah. Other than just eventually making them leave you alone, the report scam feature on your phone does jack and shit against them, and jack left town. Oh, do you, do you try and troll them, Devin? That is a noble endeavor, but unfortunately, they're usually robocalls, so there's no use to it. Like, the ones I get are just trying to direct me to some website that's undoubtedly a phishing scam. Ha! <laughs> Well, you, you know, then you're just going to have some poor Indian guy on the other end who doesn't know what you're talking about. Who's going, ah, yes, the circle K. Okay. That is very good, sir. So, if you just give me the information, we will fix the problem with your warranty right now, yes. They just won't know what you're talking about, you know? Yeah, scamming the scammers only really works when uh, when they get your trolling. Hmm. It, it's kind of a mix of fifty fifty, where um, the the robocall itself is just to get your attention. It's just to weed out the people who are actually going to be falling for it. You know what? I should just make a pulser for this damn thing. I really should. Okay, let's let's design that real quick. That will be our decadence of the day. Yeah. Okay, so these are all set to output, I imagine, right? If I take out my hammer, yeah, they're outputs. So just right-click that to output. And we'll just do this right underground. And we'll just... Uh, Run redstone wire connector, wire coil. So I need a control signal on it. Right, like, uh, right here would not be connected to anything, would it? Right, so this will be where our control goes. And we need to remember that this is kind of inverse of the normal situation now. It is, uh, so long as the signal is on, it will be turned off. Eh, need to kind of jank that around, I think. Can I do it from here? Like if I, where did the lever go? There, put it on there, hook it up there. Then if I, yeah, okay, that's still connecting, excellent. Hmm. Well, okay, that'll only, that'll only be true so long as Hmm. We're going to need to be a little bit careful with it, I guess. We're going to need to make sure that every time that we turn the pulser off by activating the redstone signal on it. Well, I suppose I could I could have the control on a separate color. That would solve the problem. So if I then shift right click this onto orange. Yeah, that turned the signal off. Okay, so Well, ah, oh, hello, computer wizard. Hello, I didn't notice you come in. I'm sorry. I was, I was, uh, I was in the thinking zone. So we'll we'll remember that the new power nipple is right here. Yep, this is kind of a chores stream, unfortunately, chores episode. Yep, that's going up there. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me, for me, they go, ah, yes, hello, Mr. Robot. And I think, 
my, my god, I must be the head of the Ultramarines. There are worse problems you can have. Hello. Okay, so that'll be in output to orange. Cool. So from there, we're also going to need an input to orange. And I guess that they can both be on this one here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I need to grab a, a bunch of redstone dust. And we're just going to make a simple old circle pulser. No fancy redstone advanced machinery. It's not available to us just yet. So... Just like that. And good, that is receiving signal properly. So then I can just take... Oh, I also need redstone torches. Derp. Thankfully, I should have just a bunch of sticks in here now. Yep. An entire faggot of them, one might say. And... On to... Just make an arbitrary number of them. And get out some building blocks. That's probably not enough. Well, I mean, it is definitely at least enough. So, let's just see if we can circle around. There. No, we don't want it there. We don't want it there. That's connecting into the system a bit too much. So, just like there, I guess. And then... Doop, doop, doop. Doop. In dupe. 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 And I mean, I think technically that should be enough, shouldn't it? No, I, we need to keep it from touching the wire except the, the designated spot. So then, if I then go and turn that lever up top off, Then it's not pulsing properly. Hmm. And yet it's pulsing. Hmm. Oh, it needs to be connected too. Like so. That sh should. What? Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. It can't be touching the output at all. Okay, cool. Okay, output. And then connect and connect. There we go. Oh, but no, then... Then I don't have a shutoff system on this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I suppose that the input could just be on white. And then... Then this could once again be touching on orange. Yeah. They're not on the same signal color anymore now. So orange is entirely just the control signal. 
this isn't proper redstone. This is, uh, this is kind of enhanced redstone. Okay, sweet. And then if I hit the switch, it should shut off. Oh, it's, uh, it's empty now, isn't it? Yeah. You know what? Let's fetch more blood. We might as well. We might as well see if we can empty out the entire system. Well, you weren't complaining about, um, about head go hurdy when I was messing around with all the logic gates. Was that easier for you to understand? Because in my opinion, it's kind of the more complicated system. <laughs> Although I wasn't really doing anything complex with it today. It was all just making limiters on my chest, really. So yeah, I guess there's no reason for head go hurdy on that. All right, some more lovely blued. Ah, well, I'm not like super duper into redstone anyway. Making a simple circle pulser like this with a little bit of, uh, with a little bit of immersive engineering red wire to let me cheat. This is close to the extent of my capability. Okay, so blued up here. Is the pulsar turned off? Yes, it is. So if I pour out all the blued. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So wait, you are. Does it need to be turned off? Did I forget to set it to output? I must have. into the rigatoni section of the base. Yeah, I forgot to set it to output. Oop, wrong, wrong click. Orange, output. There we go. And then up we go. And we should now see that the system is not being properly pulsed. What the heck? Okay, what's going on? Okay, signal on. It shouldn't be generating any pulse right now. It should be turned off. Yeah, look at that. Solid signal. So what's going on up there? Well, it's out of blood now, of course. Yeah, the cobble gen is just running. The cobble gen just runs. Uh, we're gonna have a miniature thing for it. But, um, uh, let's see here. Let's smelt like some of our lead. That should melt real quick and cast real quick. So let's see here. No pulse is happening. No signal should be on the taps. Okay. Cool. That's the exact behavior I want to see. So 
So then if I turn this off, then Pulse should start. And it's not. Did I forget to set the white to input? What are you talking about? It melted pretty damn quick. Wait, what? You're... Huh. Okay, did I just not build the circle far enough? Is that the problem here? Let's, um... Let's see here. If I... Into there... No, it needs to be needs to be on here, yeah. Hmm. So then if I turn signal off, it should be pulsing, right? Where is the problem here? What is your major malfunction? Okay, so if I disconnect this, then reconnect. Um, what the heck? You should be, you should be creating a pulse. So signal off. All torches off. Okay, where is that signal coming from? You are a channel white input. You are a channel orange output. But channel orange output should be completely off. Yeah, look at that. I'm getting anomalous behavior here. Okay, so dip, 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 dip. Huh. It was producing a pulse before, wasn't it? I could swear it was. Okay, let's try just take this off, I guess. Yeah, okay. Okay, it just doesn't like having the orange output on it there, I guess. Is it is it because it's having a two-way... So if I channel orange output there, then... Oops, not those. Then connect those and connect to there. Okay. Then maybe, maybe it just didn't like being connected at two points along the loop. So it should be casting out lead. Yeah, there's all my lead. So if I turn signal on, that should turn it off. We'll melt the lead again. We're seeing if it's fine. We're seeing if it's fine. <laughs> So, okay, lead is melted, and then if I flip the lever off, it starts pouring. Okay, flip lever on. Then it's back to the anomalous behavior. Huh. Okay, I guess that um, I guess that the behavior might just be that receiving a redstone pulse, a 
a single time is enough to have a smeltery tap go on auto auto pour or something. And just a single pulse of redstone will have it pouring until it's empty. Or something like that. I'm not sure where the behavior discrepancy is here. Whether it is Minecraft redstone and my inability with it. Or whether it is uh, something with the Tycon taps going wrong here. Either way, I'm sorry that this took longer than it should. But we'll just confirm that this is working like I think it should. So I turn the, I turn the lever on. And if we peek under our base, we'll see that the pulsar has stopped. I turn the lever back off. We peek under the base. And the pulsar is cycling. Cool. Well, it's close enough to working. The good news is that this should at least have all four tables operating whenever the pulsar is on. So it's operating more smoothly than it had been before. And that was our goal. So uh, sorry for that being derp and jank and uh, stupid and fail. And taking way longer than it should because of all that. Yeah, 80% of the time it works all the time. Anyway, right, I wanted to do that because I need to produce more glue. And then I just got on a side tangent because of that. So it is time to produce more glue. For that, I'm going to need more clay. Uh, shoot, I'm going to need way more clay. Actually, do I have any wood pile in storage? I do. So I don't need to make that much glue. Uh, just... A half stack of it should be enough, in fact. Yeah, okay, cool. So do I have any wood log in storage? Uh, I've got enough. I have got enough. What are we doing on creosote anyway? We got 300 buckets of creosote. Not bad, not bad. And if I'm not mistaken, that should use 16 of the wood to make a stack of wood pulp. Those four buckets of water. Yep, I do in fact somewhat know my stuff. Okay. So... That'll make 32 glue, which can make a maximum of 30 wood pile, which is going to need six blocks of clay, which I happen to have in storage. Okay, there we go. And then we can just make the glue just like a so. And there it goes. And that should make 30 glue. So then I need to go and cut down another sequoia because yeah, I'm out of wood. Hmm, kind of out of bone meal too. Didn't I just pick up more from an art store? I guess I didn't. It would be more efficient to do this in a crusher, but I don't have a personal use crusher right now, and I'm already in the middle of another chore and on sidetrack 10 million and one. Okay. Uh, I I bypassed the uh, opportunity to pick up a stack of bone meal from him. Huh? Oh well. Why are you not grow? 
There we go. Okay, and uh, put my arrows in my hand so they can get some XP on them. Beautiful, wonderful wood shower. Oh, glorious day. Shower me in wood. Just cover me in your glorious stiff wood. It's such an experience, too. Look at that raining experience. Getting inside of us. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I mean... If, if you know the context of the, of the Lumber Axe's name, it's only appropriate. And we can put that away. There's nothing suspicious about enjoying being covered in, in raining wood. Just basking in the glory of the wood impacting against your body. Nothing suspicious about that at all. It's good for you. It exfoliates the skin. Or the chassis, as my case may be. What? I'm just talking about how how wonderful it is to have to have wood touching you at all points. Yeah, we'll keep those arrows in our hand. Ah, look. Look at that. Our tanks are full. Our distillery is off. Everything is operating exactly as it should. So let's just load all this up into the uh, into the good old burner over here. And let's keep just Two stacks of it for ourselves, for our current purposes. And put away the old shulker box. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not one of those weirdos who are into getting covered in sap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who would it be into that? Okay. Okay, and how much does a single bucket of water on this make? That looks like it makes five, so I just need two, three, four, five, six buckets of water. To make me a nice new pile of wood pile. And we can start putting away the rest of our stuff in there. And unfortunately now we're kind of at a point where we need to wait a little while for this to burn. I can just take it with uh, what I had in storage from before. Need my fire lighter. Yeah, we get some spare sticks out of the deal, at least. All right. Over into the old burner it go. Yeah, at one point I'm going to need to figure out a better source of forestry ash. 
I really do. And unfortunately, the only sources that look at all likely are um, the forestry multi-block farm and bees. And I'm going to need to get into a test world and see how the peat bog version of the multi-block farm works. See if it requires appetite fertilizer or, or anything like that. If all it requires is, like, water and even bone meal, then it would be worth it. But if it requires appetite fertilizer, like the multi-block farm usually does... I don't know. I don't know. Hmm... I mean, there are places I can mine up Appetite where, um, you know, three, four, look at that. We can make us a nice collection of pulsers out of that. There, there are places where I can mine up Appetite, just not in huge amounts. There's not a whole lot of it to go around in this world. It's not local to our biome, I don't think. We won't find it under the island. I would need to go to, like, um, to one of these islands, like, on the Village of Cheese and dig around in there. But I'm not carrying anything... Oh, okay. Did not know those weighed so much. But yeah, bees. Mm. Bees, I don't think will be happening. Yep. We might need to visit the Island of Cheese again pretty soon, because I'm running a bit low on money from all the accidental deaths of late. Okay, red engine. Just like so. Boop. That's gonna make us a nice stack of pulsers. Well, not, not a stack stack of pulsers, but a good collection of pulsers. Enough to last for a goodly while. But yeah, I was hoping that the mending moss that I put on my arrows would be running faster than this. I think that on a rebuild, I wouldn't go with mending moss again. I'd go for... Uh, I think I went for diamond and emerald. No, I went for diamond and sharp. I think I go for diamond, emerald, and maybe reinforced on a rebuild. And just accept that I need to repair these every once in a while. I mean, eventually there will be one more reinforcement we can put on there. Because uh, we'll eventually, we'll eventually be able to. Um, no, I'm not going to rebuild the arrows now. It's not worth it at the moment. But I, I'm saying that if I ever have to rebuild them, if I lose my inventory again somehow, you know, that will be on the design list as a regret I have at the moment. Okay, did I leave the pulser on? Nope. I don't think it was the butterflies that stole my inventory. Hello, Fox. Welcome back. I don't think it was... It, it was just the butterfly that killed me. I don't think it was the butterfly that ate my inventory. I think what ate my inventory was the fact that I was carrying around a dynamic tree sapling. And I think what happened is... Um, or seedling or whatever is that uh, my inventory all got kind of compacted onto one space because I was backed into a corner, so there was nowhere else for it to go. 
and then the sapling, as it does, it planted itself. And I think that uh, that might have destroyed any blocks that were on the tile, except for Tinker's. Because uh, Tinker's construct tools are resistant to things like lava and stuff like that. So they're, they're resistant to the standard means of item destruction. Why am I hearing fire? Oh, because it's still burning the charcoal. We're not done yet. So yeah, um, Fox, that is advice for you. Be very wary when you're carrying around dynamics, trees, seed pods, acorns, what have you. Because um, if you die and all your stuff gets scattered around, try not to die on dirt if you're carrying those. I mean, some would call it oversight, some would call it just a design feature. It all depends on how you're looking at the difficulty of the pack and whether that is just part of the experience. Yes, try not to die. That is good advice in general. Um, yeah, yeah, just, uh, just don't die. Then you'll solve all your problems. Okay, how's this going? Yeah, that's still... This is still breaking somehow. Okay, I guess that while we're waiting on the... On the copper, we can... We can rebuild this system. So... Let's just completely... Uh, okay. Okay, let's just uh, stop all of that. All of that. Take all the logic off of this, or at least all the uh, all the conditions off of this. Well, so far it was working well, but let's see here. Okay, so so this is the blue line. This is the limiter. It's saying wind contains less than twenty five percent. Then just send blue signal. That is working correctly. That's working how we want it to. And that's not crossing over at any other point, right? That wire is purely on this pipe. Correct. So can't be interference on that one. So then, this was previously the priming system. I think I can simplify the system a little bit more, in fact. So we want this logic to be when item is traversing emit black signal still. That's correct. And then over here, I think that I'm not going to have this looking at the blue signal at all. I will just have this saying, when black signal. And yes, because this is an AND gate. So, when black signal, pulse the pipe twice. And never mind the item limit. Maybe that was the problem, is that uh, the item limit was catching on. And like the copper was the thing that was firing off last. So it was just loading up copper unevenly to the iron. So the iron is the only thing that's, uh, the iron is going to be independent of the, of the item load limit on this thing. It'll only be the copper that is being controlled by the limit. And then I guess I can say on this one, I don't even really need to have it be looking for all I need to do is ensure that for every unit of copper two units of iron gets in so I don't need any fancy system I don't think I can just say when blue signal pulse the pipe right so that's outputting copper one by one and that's ordering two iron for every copper that should be loading it to ratio nice and evenly every time so then when it loads up enough that it's just full up we'll see we'll see when that blue pipe signal turns off whether it's loaded to ratio okay yeah, look at that. It's loaded to ratio perfectly. Okay, cool. So we'll let that run for a little while. We'll empty out the mechanical artisan a couple of times. 
And we'll see if that's continuing to behave itself this time. So maybe the problem is just that I was overcomplicating things. And somewhere in there, the logic was failing. But yeah, maybe I suspect that might have been the failure. That I shouldn't have been limiting the, uh, the iron by the, um, by the count on this one. The only, only one of the products should have been limited by the count. Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. There is wisdom in that. Okay, I'm probably going to need more pipe for the pipeline. So let's just make that. Just so that we have that on hand. A couple of... Yeah, one more, st one more stack's worth. Let's overbuild. No reason not to when this thing is stocking up for us. No reason not to go absolutely bug nuts. Okay, that should be well more than enough. Yeah, look at that. It looks like it's a going just fine. Yup, yup, it is keeping the ratio perfectly. Cool, 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 cool. Cool beans. All right, and yup, all this is filling up once more. Yep. So now all we need to have complete automation of all the engineering bricks is I need to automate Electrum and I need to automate bronze. Bronze gears, bronze blocks, bronze ingots, and that will automate all the engineering blocks and, um, and casings. All right, there we go. Go, make yourself some breakfast. Make yourself some beans on toast. Or no, it's lunchtime for you, isn't it? Hmm. Make yourself, like, some chili. Yeah, spicy beans. Okay, let's keep sure that this thing is empty. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's four stacks of steel that I've got in my hand right here. Yeah, go make yourself some lunch, Fox. Even better, Devin. Yep, yep. All that you're going to be missing is me running some pipe down from the blood. You aren't going to be missing anything important. I don't blame you if you want to drop out. Do I have any room in either of my bags for this? Kind of. Not really. Are you going to make bean soup? I'm not a fan of bean soup. To be honest with you. Something about it just sets me off. Yep. Good night, Devin. I won't be on for too much longer. Thank you for keeping me company through this kind of boring chores night. I know it's probably not all that entertaining to watch. Me just kind of... Uh, kind of eating my vegetables, as it were. But, uh, yeah, thank you for keeping me company through it. Mm, yep, over there. Oh, neat. I've never made pumpkin soup. I've never made pumpkin stock, for that matter. I, I don't use a whole lot of pumpkin in my cooking. I don't think anyone local grows them very much. 
we, usually when we get pumpkin, it's for making a pumpkin pie, so we just get it canned. Hmm. I mean, supposedly, baked pumpkin is one of the absolute most simple and most delicious dishes you can make. Ah, yes, yes. We call that beans on beans. We call that a concerto in the making. Dear Lord, the man has discovered the beans on toast sandwich. Maximum Britishness has been achieved on this glorious day. Okay, and I should actually be able to leave this on pulsing because uh, it won't, this liquefacted coal will act as a barrier and it'll prevent any more steel from, uh, any iron from casting out. Sweet. It is definitely gratifying to see the all four taps working properly now. Yep. Wonderful. Yeah, the alloy rate on these things is so dang slow compared to the melting rate. Hmm. Neat. But yeah, now you have me wondering if you can make pumpkin stock. I imagine you can. And I imagine it might make a pretty fantastic stock vegetable. Okay. Yep, we got a lovely we got a lovely pile of resources in here. No, I can take these out and make some bronze gears for the uh for the mechanical artisan. Is this thing on gear cast? It isn't. Yeah, da, 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 da. Put you on gear. Just like so. You're starting to make me hungry now. And I probably shouldn't eat anything. It's real close to bedtime. Yeah, that's... This is distressing. Why is this not working anymore? Hmm... Is it just confusion with chimneys? Like... Okay, simplify the system. Hmm. So then if I take this off, if I take a vent off of it and then put a chimney on, Oh, well, it's impossible to tell right now because, yeah, unfortunately, the lava has uh, finished. Hmm. Hmm. Stressing. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on the pollution in the area, and if it gets bad, we'll have to fix it. Yeah, look at that. It ain't casting... It ain't casting nothing. Not until all the liquefacted coal is done. I 
Okay. I just want to turn that off for a little while and just... Oh yeah, it still has the anomalous behavior, doesn't it? Even though the pulsar is off, it's still... Hmm. Regardless, we can take a... Uh, we can take a bunch of steel out. We can take those bronze gears we've made out. And we can load up our crafter. Just with all this wonderful garbage. That'll make us some heavy engineering blocks for the next time we need them. And let's take out all the steel that we've made. We're getting a lovely collection of steel together too. Okay, and by now I imagine the wood has finished burning. It's been a hot minute. Oh yeah, that's a project I'm going to have to do soon. I'm going to have to get a proper excavator on the redstone again. I think that can wait until after I, uh, until after I get another diesel generator up, though. And that is going to happen after we get silicon up, I think. Hmm. <laughs> Gar. Isn't that a term from, like, uh, the Fate Stay Night series? Which I'm not super familiar with Type Moon's universe. But I, I'm vaguely aware of it through just pop cultural osmosis. Okay, sweet. And now... We can pop everything out on into here. And, oh, look at that. I think we're out of treated wood, too. Yeah, we're kind of out of everything. <laughs> well, we can make more treated wood now that we have a ton more ash. I know. I'm going to have to start throwing it out. I'm desperately making steel because I don't want to start throwing it out. I'd feel bad. It would feel so wasteful. But I'm getting close to that point. Okay, and now just a single bucket. All that trouble, all that waiting was just for these treated wood fences. Because I was out of the damn forestry ash. So. Then we can just take those. We can take... I think we only need 34 for a tank, don't we? Yeah, 34. And so just take 32, because I should have two spare sheet metal somewhere. Yep. Just like so. Uh, 
All right. And now we just need to find a place for it. I see no reason not to just have it at the end of the line over here. Just join its fellow brethren in the line of tanks. And don't forget to put torch on. Give it a whack. We have tank. And now we can start running the pipe down, running the bloodline, the red line. Well, first we need to actually run Utilidor down to these, down to the blood bank. But let's at least get this pointed into the Utilidor. Because it might be a little bit of a jank getting it into there. So first of all, we need to make sure that it at no point touches this pipe. On its journey over. Into its own personal abyss. Let's actually put it over there just so that we preserve as much of our walkway space as we can. Oh no wait, that is actually... Okay, so... Let's see here. If I run it over... like... here... And I might be able to avoid most of the pipes. Yeah, and then I can just kind of sneak it through here. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. That is not too bad at all. And then we can just kinda sneak it on into here. And it'll just run along the Utilidor ceiling, I think. Oop. Not there. I don't think that's hooked up to anything. That was an experiment I was working on while I was in idle time. But yeah, that pipe is going to need a plug. I don't think they properly connect, but must make sure, especially with void pipes. And I don't think these things have any sort of redstone behavior. Okay, so that is getting it along the Utilidor. So now we need to actually just go visit the blood bank and get a waypoint going. We might also want to get the extraction going, make sure that it, it is behaving properly. Jeez, it is getting unnavigable at that entrance point to the Utilidors, isn't it? Okay. So, just over here on the blood bank, I think I'm just going to run it off of this one right here. Yeah, sooner or later we are. So I can just put a pump right here and get under it. We'll make sure that we know this waypoint and I need my hammer so this will be output 
other side will be input. Shift right click it just to get the other side. And then I just need to, it should be as simple as putting a support pipe there with a gate. And say, let's see here, that is on south side. Wind tank on south side contains less than 50%. Well, no, that wouldn't work. Okay, it needs, it needs a little bit of pipe wire on it. Just a single piece should be enough. Then emit blue. And on the other end, it's going to say... When blue signal is on, produce redstone. Or no, it's going to say when blue signal is off, because it needs to be a not. So what this will say is that uh, because these conditions aren't linked, they're essentially like it was on two separate gates. So until when it, when it goes below 50%, it'll turn the blue signal on. And so long as the blue signal is not on, it will produce redstone. And that should activate our activate our pump. So let's, we have 39 buckets of blood in there and 256 millibuckets. 39 and 256, why is it not? Okay, do I have a tank on me? Yeah, but it's full of diesel. Why is it full of diesel? No, oh, because it was, it was off of that line. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Um, I don't have an empty tank on me, do I? No. To test it out. Let's get a tank just to test it. But I think that uh, that drain in the tank that we saw, the fact that it wasn't full, we, the last time we drained out the blood bank was so long ago, it should be, it should have been full up. And I think that was the internal buffer of the pump filling up. But we will test it just to be sure. I need to pick up some more tripe anyway, apparently. And uh, let's just pick up these tanks. Get one last huzzah out of them. They'll just be decorative blood tanks from now on. Just put this on. No, oh, well, I should have put it on in a space I could see, but look at that. It's full of blood. Yeah, these things are much faster than uh, than pouring out of a tap, ain't they? Yep, they just fill up. Zoop. And actually, I should be able to now test the system by saying... Um, Less than 75% full. And yeah, look at that. It stops pumping. And so now, if I take this on, look at that. It ain't filling. So, the tank will never be empty. The smeltery will never be empty, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I filled up about half the tank. Well, just for the sake of having it full. Here. And now dirt. There we go. Cool. Cool beans. All right. So now we just need to run the utilidor and the line down there. There should be a utilidor entrance fairly close by. Over in the redstone area. So where is the closest? Is that... Oh, that's blocking the water from the farm. Okay, so... I need to get myself a little bit more westwards. I need to get myself over to negative 20674, negative 6976. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Oh, it's listed on the minimap, derp. Also gonna need my torches. So let's just keep on hanging west, I guess. Two oh six seven four. Mm, a bit further. One more, I think. Yeah, that's looking like that might be aligned. Let me zoom out my view to get a better. Ah, right there is where we want to be. Yep, yep. Cool. All right. And yep, yeah, let's just run the floors on down. You know, it was it was getting inconvenient that I built these things one taller than the excavator digs, but now I think it's actually necessary with how many pipes I'm running through the utilidors, pipes and wires and all that. I kind of need the maneuvering room. So it's an unintentional good design decision on my part that I will completely take credit for, of course. You may send your appreciation in the form of money. Okay, and now just down on this line. I mean, I'll take it. Why not? If I can earn one cent per viewer per video, then I mean, I might not do so bad for myself eventually. I already said I'll take it. I, I did not complain. Why why are why are you treating it like I like I was ungrateful? <laughs> I very much know the uh the power of a small amount repeated many times. Okay, and now let's just run the dang line. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown out all the dirt. Well, that's better. And down we go. Well, we can't deny the face scritches. It's his constitutional right. I'm fairly certain it's in the Declaration of Independence. Mm-hmm. It, it, was, it was one of the more controversial parts, but... Uh, Yep, they, they decided it was important, I'm sure. Goodness, did I not bring enough? Oh yes, I also need to make sure that this... Actually, I don't know if I need to make sure if this entire line is chunk-loaded. These are immersive engineering pipes. I know that immersive engineering power lines, you just need to chunk-load the um the generator and you need to chunk load the destination 
I don't know if that's the case. Okay, this is a bit of a navigation problem right here. Can it go over that? Can. Cool. But I don't want to move it forward all the way just yet. Just like right there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. As all good cats are. And I'm sure that as your cat, it is the goodest cat. As everyone's personal cat is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh ho. -ho. Yes, you can kind of see why I was putting this off over and over again. Oh, we are close to it. We are close. Wait a minute. Didn't I jank it into the Utilidors? Oh, I janked it into a different entrance of the Utilidors. That's no good. Mm. This is inauspiciously placed wiring. But we can get around it. Somewhat forcefully. Yeah. Those are always the best cats. The ones that are more or less dogs. Okay. Just one more set of pipe should do it, I think. we go. Transcontinental blood highway completed. Yeah, we have definitely increased the jank factor of the base by quite a lot today. We're doing God's work on that one. For sure. Look at that. Ah, blood tank. Automated blood. And we should eventually start to see this tick up again once they start dying the next time. They should be... Yeah, they should have done by now. Okay, so do I need to chunk load the whole line? Is that the problem? That might be the problem. Okay, let's chunk load the line. So, got here. Yep. This 
this is fine so far. I imagine most of this line is going to be fine until we start getting up into new areas. Yeah, this is this whole area is going to be fine. It's just kind of going on down this way that's going to be the problem. Yeah, all the way down to here. And then, like, over here. And that should load the entire red line. Okay. And now we should see the blood tank steadily ticking upwards when we get back into base. up to 10,000. If we wait a little while, does it start ticking higher? Like, it should steadily tick every so often. Is it just that the process is slower because it's gate controlled now? Like, is it waiting for some minimum threshold that's more sensitive than, than like, how the gate be? I guess that what we could do is we could just, like, wait a little while and then just check in on this intermediary and make sure it's always going upwards. Hmm. Yeah, it's not going to be, like, updating in real time, I guess. Oh, boy. Well, it's a good thing that it's lunchtime and not, like, nighttime. You aren't going to be trying to sleep through this. Yep, 10050. I need to have that number semi on my mind. Let's, like, see how long it takes to pour out the last of our decorative blood tanks. Yeah, this is very much the wrap-up. You are welcome to leave. I'm just going to make sure that the blood tank is working, and then I'll be off myself. I mean, it can't be a problem of the NPCs not responding when we're not there because the blood tank is always refilled just on its own. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know. Don't dang know. But yeah, yeah, Fox, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for keeping me some company. And um, go and get yourself that delicious sounding soup. Go and um, make yourself maybe some nice warm bread to dip in it. Little toasties. And uh, you have yourself a wonderful, you have yourself a wonderful day, man. I'll be, uh, I'll be desperately trying to catch up on your series. I, I don't think I've, <laughs> I've fallen a bit behind. This is, I probably shouldn't say this, but most other of the series like, um, Riley's and Prince's and all those who don't have any commentary, I watch them in at 2x speed, but I can't do that because you actually have commentary. So I have to watch you in real time. Hmm. Look 
at that. It poured out evenly for once. Neat. Okay, so what is the mal the major malfunction here? Can't be the gate because the area is chunk loaded. Like, I imagine just the fact that I run over there is going to immediately start pumping it again. Yeah. So if I wait a little while, they should revive and we should hear them taking damage in there. Yep. So yeah, this is about the periodicity that it should be updating over at the base end. Hmm. Hmm. So what is the malfunction here? Did, did I just misalign on what chunks need to be loaded? Ah, yeah, I, I guess if you're if you're not doing the challenge run, if you're not doing Dawson's challenge, you don't need to show every last bloody handed sec. Huh. Well, now it's working. Okay, neat. And if we just wait a little while for them to, re to resurrect, I imagine they just died. Okay, I guess it was just the forge chunk loading. I think I vaguely remember a uh, a uh, mechanic in that, like um, once you claim and load a chunk, then every time you load it in the game, you need to run through it at least once to uh, to activate it or something. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. No, it's stopped again. It should have been updating by now. Well, this... <sighs> I think that between episodes, I'm going to be trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. But we did at least solve one in mystery today. We, uh, we fixed this. This is now always loading to ratio. So that is wonderful news. Yeah, were, were you here for that, Fox? Were, were you here for me figuring out what the problem was, or at least what I think the problem was, and making the fix? Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, we prevented, we prevented a pollution from becoming a further problem. It's not exactly fixed. It's kind of, um, it, it's still there. It's still very much there. Yes, keep it simple, stupid. But yes, uh, between episode, I will be investigating this issue a little bit. I suppose I can at least make a very simple automation for it, right? Real quick, though. So if I just take seven of these for a casting table. Then I can take... Am I out of wooden hoppers? Let's make some wooden hoppers. Uh, da, 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 my tool rod tier twos. I should have some spare glue still. I should have some spare glue still. There we go. And of course, wood. Make hopper. Make all the hopper, please. Yes. It's even more confusing because in other mods I know they uh, there are wooden hopper recipes called whoppers. 
And they even have auto smelting ones, frame flame broiled whoppers. Yes, kit pilns. Even worse for you, because that's, you know, fox fox kits. Yes. In any case, in any case. Getting tired, getting distracted, yes. But let us just... Where did I put the... Just ignore that that happened. But we will very quickly just run on over here. Take a little bit of... Oh, I need to make a liquid extractor pipe. And I don't have any liquid pipe in storage. Let's fix that real quick. And you and just a one or two or something of you should be sufficient. And I also need a chest. And yeah, let's no, let's just make it a single chest. So we'll just we'll make it off the back, just in case we want to expand out the front or sides. So just extract. Move this torch. Why is that torch there in the first place? I don't know, but I'll put it down out of superstitious reasons that I probably don't need to worry about. So put an table here, put an chest here, put an hopper thar, and give it a pulser. And behold, we have automated blood coming on in. So once I figure out what the problem is with this not loading, then we'll just have a chest of slime here at all times, eventually. And oh, isn't that a beautiful sight to see it flowing through? Mmm, tasty. Well, today was again a kind of boring chores day. To all you watching in the future who are skipping to the end to see everything that was done, that, that's kind of everything this one. We have all our uh, pollution filters automated. We have wool being auto-produced. We've debugged a couple of things. We have blood coming in automatically. We've restocked a couple of resources. It was just a bunch of little stuff. A bunch of little things. So, for everyone who did stick around, and especially everyone here live... Thank you very much. Thank you for supporting this series. Thank you for all your commentary. And thank you for stopping by. Everyone out there, have yourself a very beautiful day. And have yourself a very beautiful evening. I will see you on the next time. Take care, everybody.